That's got to feel good, Amy. Yes, it does. And ten thousand dollars has got to feel pretty good too. Yes, it does. <laughs> Five more truthful answers, Michael, and you will turn ten thousand dollars into twenty-five thousand. What do you want to do? Go for it. Want to go for it? Let's go for On it. On the level two. I wish you the best of luck. You can change your mind after every question if you want. Okay. Just catch me before I read the question. Okay. Been married to your wife for over five years. Yep. Did you date a lot before you met her? Um. Not a lot, but yeah. Question seven: Are you sexually attracted to any of your wife's sisters? <laughs> One of which is sitting right here in front of us. Uh, yes. That answer is true. That's seven truthful answers. Not me. There's five girls in our family, so it could it be. So was you? What? <laughs> well, it was. Yes, we dated. Yes. They dated. You guys dated? But, yeah. But he also dated one of my other sisters as well. Would you? <laughs> Giving away stuff. Let me see if I can get this right. We have four sisters. One sister. Of the four sisters, total of five women. You married one and dated two others. <laughs> yep. Okay. So much to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna change gears a little bit here. <laughs> what kind of relationship did you have with your parents growing up? Um, uh, pretty good. No, I don't <laughs> Hazel, you okay? It wasn't horrible. Yeah? <laughs> you can hit the button if you don't want to hear yeah. the answer. I forgot you gotta about You got to wait till I ask the question, though. No. Oh, OK. <laughs> question eight. Have you ever lied to your parents about your religious beliefs? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What faith did you grow up as? Mormon. OK. And your parents? Are practicing Mormons? Yes. Okay. Let's find out if your answer, yes, you have lied to your parents about your religious beliefs, is true. That answer is true. Well, that's eight truthful answers. And that's, you know, when you talk about religion, it gets to be a, a very touchy sure. subject. So, you want to elaborate on this? Tell us what was going on there? Um, I think we just did a period where I was kind of questioning things and didn't want to upset them, so. In what way did you lie? Told them that I was, I don't know, I guess believed it. <laughs> Is this a big surprise to you, Hazel? Or I think I'm aware of more things than he thinks I'm aware of. <laughs> You've answered eight questions truthfully. We are getting closer to $25,000 as I look ahead. We're going to get to some very personal questions about your family. Okay. You okay with that? Sure. Is it nice having your mom here to support you? It is. Even when you're talking about things that are sensitive? Yeah, the wax replica thing wasn't too... Uh... Not so fun, yeah. Yeah. Mom's here. Where's dad right now? Uh, at home. Mom and dad still together? No? No. no. Question nine. Do you think your father worked hard enough to provide for your family? Um, no. That answer is true. It's nine truthful answers and a very sensitive subject. Did you, Hazel, realize that your son felt that his father didn't work hard enough to provide? Not really. I thought I was keeping it, <laughs> keeping it from everybody. You do your and best as a mom to protect your children from the drama in the house. Uh, yeah. 
I guess what we're learning is, as you know things about him that he didn't think you knew, <laughs> kids know stuff about their parents you don't think you know as well. Yeah. I hope it's not very much. <laughs> you love your mom a lot, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. She's great. So you remarry. Yes. And your father is also uh, remarried, yeah. or is he single? Remarried. How often do you see your dad? Um, not too often. Question 10. When visiting your father, do you think your stepmother intentionally does things to make you feel unwelcome? Yeah, yeah. That answer is... True. That's 10 truthful answers, one more, $25,000. Do you really feel that way, that your stepmother would intentionally do things to make you feel unwelcome? Unfortunately, yeah. Amy, are you aware of this? Yes. It's hard to talk about? Yes. Have you guys discussed this at all? A little bit. Have you discussed it with your father at all? Um, no, not really. You think your dad will be able to listen to that? Is he a pretty reasonable man? I hope so. You have 10 truthful answers, one more, $25,000, but there is no shame in stopping, even at this point, if these questions have hit closer to home than you had anticipated. So if you want to stop, I would be happy to stop at this point. If not, I'll honor whatever you want. We'll continue. Let's go. Okay. This is your $25,000 moment of truth. And this next question is not going to be asked by me. You still have time to stop it if you want. No, let's go. Then for $25,000, your question 11 is going to be asked by your father, Chuck, is here. Let's welcome Chuck to the show. Now we're at a very serious situation as it comes to your relationship with your son and, and a lot of things that have been discussed. But right now, our only concern is question 11. If you can be brave enough and honest enough and answer it truthfully, it'll be worth $25,000. The question comes from your father. So whenever you're ready, Chuck, question 11. Mike, despite the life you've led, do you think that I still love you? question that our producers came up with. This came from Chuck. So do That answer is... True. Chuck, you just helped your son win $25,000. Congratulations. Good job, mate. Love you so much. So proud of you. Chuck, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, How about that? Thanks. Yeah. You okay? I'm great, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I obviously there's a lot of pain in your family, but I don't think that's any different than most of the families watching the show, that if we look hard enough, there's pain for all of us. And that was uncomfortable, I'm sure, for you. Very, very. <laughs> but could you see how emotional it was for your father? Yeah, and that's why it was emotional for me. Yeah. I don't see him like that very often. So through all of this, two grown men letting each other know that they love one another is not such a bad thing. No, it's not. 
congratulations, you just won $25,000. But my question is, while this is a game and at times it's fun, you yeah. now see how serious it really is. Yeah. Because it's the game of your life, your moment. You've got $25,000 right now. A lot has been stirred up. A lot more will come down the line on your way to half a million dollars. So I want you to consider it and make a wise decision. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back with Michael Green. Right after 